Greetings everybody, my name is Captain Yonarsik and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Frenzy Barb. Uh, it's got the big buff, like it went from 1000% uh, Frenzy to 2000% uh, Frenzy damage. What are we going to cover in this video? We're going to cover um, the entire uh, Savage set. We're going to cover the R guilds, the belt, the jewelry. The gems, the cube, skills, passive skills, the follower. And we're gonna sh give you like a little showcase of the GR115 that I did with some. Uh... So for the gear, we have five pieces of the Savage set, uh, two pieces of the R Guild, Undisputed Champion, COV, Ben of Might, and Squash Necklace for the jewelry, Injeon, and Oathkeeper. Let's go over all the stats that we have and show you the build that I have currently. So for the speed build you want to have uh, Heal of Savage, Strength, Vitality, All Resist and 12% Movement Speed. <laughs> Can be something else but that's preparation for yourself but it can be something else on uh, Movement Speed but if you get Movement Speed you can add 14% uh, 14 paragons more into your strength or your vitality depending what you're lacking. For the pants, uh, strength, vitality, increase frenzy damage by 15%. You want to have that 15% additional because it increases it. It increases your main damage from the six piece. I went for the chest piece. You can also go for the helmet, but I went for the chest piece. Um, strength, all resist, reduce damage by at least by 11, 10%. Preferably you want to have 11, but I couldn't roll uh, 11 because not enough gold. <laughs> but yes, you want to have uh, actual 11 instead of 10. For the gloss, uh, attack speed, critical hit damage, critical hit chance and cooldown, preferably all maxed out. For your shoulders, you want to have strength, all resist, Chance to deal 20% area damage. It's very helpful for your uh, battle rage. Reduces cooldowns of all skill by 5%. Normally you want to go for 8, but I couldn't roll anymore because I rolled on the, the area damage. So that are the uh, Horde of the 90 Savages set. So for your Argyles, I went for the helmet. You want to have uh, strength, all resist, and critical chance by 5.5% uh, or 6, nothing lower than that. For your R guilds bracers, you want to have gold skill on there because Frenzy is a gold skill damage dealer. Strength, vitality, critical hit chance by 6%. I will not find, I will not craft any better R guilds bracers than these, or it needs to be a primal. For your belt, you want to have Undisputed Champion, you want to have Strength, Vitality, All Resist and Increase Frenzy by 15%. Again, the 15% additional gives you more. More is always better. For your Conventions of Elements, I went for Damage, Crit, Crit. I tried to max that by a COE to 50, but I can't get higher than 49 because I ran out of gems. For your Ben of Might, uh, once again, Damage on there. Crit, crit. Preferably one of your two uh, rings once I have cooldown on there. Instead of the damage or attack speed. For your Squirt Necklace, you want preferably to have the elemental skill. Um, because the higher your elemental skill, the higher damage you do. and Especially on the COE cycle. So we went for damage, critical hit damage and critical hit chance for your weapons for your weapons you go for the engine for the speed build while for the engine if you kill an elite black blue tree blues or fire blues or you kill a, a yellow with all his minions you will proc your engine and you will be set to go damage on the engine you won't have maxed out uh holy damage lightning damage cold damage doesn't matter uh you want to have the 10 percent damage you want to have your main stat strength on there and reduces your cooldown of all skills by 10 percent 
For your old keeper, this one is a crafted prime with the primordial ashes this season. You have to use 100 primordial ashes to craft a primal uh, a primal weapon or necklace or whatever that you want that you prefer. So once again, for your primary stats, you want to have maxed out uh, holy damage, lightning damage doesn't matter. Once again, your main stat uh, strength. Increase attack speed by 7% and reduce cooldown by 10%. You want to max out as lot of cooldown as you can because you're going to lag your cooldown. So, for the gems, for the speed build, you go for the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard. Regenerates X amount of life per second. After not taking damage for 4 seconds, gain an absorb shield for 200% of your total life per second simplicity strength increase the damage of your primary skills by x amount of percentage hits with primor primary abilities heal you for four percent of your maximum health bane of the trapped uh, increase damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects by x amount of percentage gain an order that reduces the movement speed of enemies within 15 yards by 30 percent let's go over the cube Bastion Revert. Frenzy now stacks up to 10 times and hits an additional time per stack. Each additional hit will chain to any enemies within 15 yards and the damage is split between all of the affected enemies. Pretty straightforward. Depth Diggers. Primary skills deals 100% additional damage. Your primary skill is Frenzy, so your damage goes up once again. Ring of Feroa Grandeur. Reduces the number of items needed for set bonuses by 1 to a minimum of 2. So... What does that mean? Because you run 5 pieces of the Horde of the 90 Savage and 2 sets of the uh, Aug Guilds, you will max out your 6 piece and you will max out your uh, 3 piece for the Aug Guilds. For the skills, primary skill Frenzy Berserk generates 6 fury per attack, enter a frenzied state that increases your attack speed with each hit. Furious Charge Cold Rush because you're a cold build. Cost one charge, generates 15 fury, charge all enemies in your path and knock them back. All enemies you charge are frozen. You gain a charge every 10 seconds and can have up to one charge stored at a time. Threatening shout, falter, generate 15 fury, cooldown 10 seconds, strike fear in your enemies and make them Take increased damage. Bell Rage Bloodshed. Cost 20 Fury. Unleash your inner rage, increasing your damage and critical hit chance lasts 120 seconds. Gather rage and periodically unleash it upon nearby enemies. War Cry. Generate 20 Fury. Cooldown 20 seconds. A Rallying Cry increases armor for you and your allies for 120 seconds. Increase dodge chance while under the effects of war cry rest of the berserker insanity cooldown 120 seconds become fury incarnate for 20 seconds while active gain increased damage for your passives rampage increase strain by one percent for eight seconds after killing or assisting in killing an enemy these effects stacks up to 25 times Berserker Rage, you deal 25% additional damage well near maximum fury, so you want to keep to the top of that orb on the right side as high as possible. Boon of Bulkatos, reduce the cooldown of your Earthquake by 15 seconds, Call of the Ancients by 30 seconds, Wrath of the Berserker by 30 seconds. So your Wrath of the Berserker had a 120 seconds cooldown, so it's only now a 90 seconds cooldown. Brawler. As long as there are 3 enemies within 12 yards, all of your damage is increased by 20%. Let's go over the follower. So you have Lyorish Crown, you have the Taurasha set piece, you got uh, Court of the Sherma, King's Habit, Ice Climbers, Homing Pads, Cluster's Worship, because you're gonna get shrines out of your potion as well, and they're gonna last for 10, 10 minutes. Turn of Fury Bless Blade of the Windseeker. Uh, Nemesis Bracers, the Oculus Ring, the Ring of Rogue Ranger, and the Flare of Time. For your 
skills for the uh, follower you leave the first one open if you don't use that or if you want to use that choose temporal temporal pulse but you don't really need that you want to get perfect harmony for your skills cooldown uh, power shield reduces damage from range attack increase armor and slows melee attackers for you and the enchantress you can also go for erosion conjures a pool of energy that deals damage and causes affect enemy affected enemies to take additional damage Again, as a preferential, what you want to what you want to run actually, and go from there. And if it works for you, it works. If it doesn't work, then swap to the other one. Face laps uh, cooldown 100, 120 seconds. When you take fatal damage, the enchantress empowers you to move through time, slowing the world around you to avoid death. So basically, that's a cheap death for your enchantress focus. You want to have the legendary power. Your follower cannot. Die. All right. Now that we now that we went over the entire build and with all the uh, aspects that we that we have, uh, let me take you to the clear of the GR one hundred and fifteen that did showcase the uh, the speed of the frenzy barb. All right, guys. Here we go. Great rift one hundred and fifteen. And what we do is at the beginning we uh, cast our Wrath of the Berserker, our War Cry, and falter. And we try to keep our battle rage as high as possible. So we want to get that 10 stacks of the uh, frenzy, so we keep the massive damage. And you want to cast your potion. I had the potion. I, I got lucky. I got the uh, the shield out of it, so my squirrel necklace remains has an uptime for at least two two minutes here. Uh, here we find the blue plaque right before the uh, for the bridge, and basically I just whacked them all down. I just kept walking with my frenzy and made sure that all my cooldowns, everything was constantly up um, so that everything gets spreading around. When you wrestle the berserker up, you are uh, gonna have some fun. I got lucky again, I got another uh, shield out of the potion. So my squares uh, doesn't drop very often. Here we find another yellow. Once again, make sure that all your cooldowns are going, that your uh, frenzies are at max. Using your furious charge to reset your band of might every three to four seconds. Here we got a speed. Gives us more attack speed as well. That purple ring that you see there, that's a damage ring. So if you can go stand in there, go stand in there and do damage. We go to the PTR. We had quite, I had quite a leg like, session, but it was alright. Not too, uh, nothing major. Here we're just fucking everything down. There's a blue here. Like you, you can see how quickly I'm melting everything down at the moment. Here we got another blue in the third corner of this, uh, this floor. I uh, decided to spread out a little bit and I was like, oh, oh. but here we got a power and then we got double yellow in there. So we kept that power and we just kept walking around. So with the extra orb, you already see how far my bar is. Like the extra orbs are very powerful this season. On the second floor, we got a we got lucky. We got a Condi, so we had a power into a power into Condi, and I'm still having my shield up. So actually, indicates how fast this one goes. Here we got the uh, last yellow of the map of the of the rift, and we spawn Perenni. All we have to say to Perenni at the end is "See you next week, dude." All right, guys. So we went through everything for this one. We went through all the gear, all the stats, all the main stats, all uh, all the gems for your followers, for your skill, for your skill, tr for your skills. I hope you guys will uh, play the barb as well. I never played this barb before, and I really had fun testing this one out. It was really fun. It's a fun build. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you guys will have fun in season twenty-eight. Have a good one. Catch you all later. Bye bye.